if you had the opportunity to actually witness the transfiguration, would you want to see it? Do you actually want to see this? We're, we're told that Peter, James, and John, as this glory cloud falls, they, they fall on their faces being overwhelmed by God's presence, by God's glory in this moment. Or if we look back to the first reading today from the prophet Daniel as he's having this vision of heaven, we're told about the ancient one seated on a throne of fire with wheels of fire and fire pouring forth from his throne. This sounds pretty intense. Uh, Do we actually want to see this? This might invite us to just ponder for a moment. What, What do we actually desire? What do we really desire? Certainly we could say there, there's various levels of desire. We could say in one sense, we, we desire food and nourishment, right? We desire bacon or cake. Uh, we desire good relationships. We want a, a good job or nice vacations. Uh, but what's really like the deepest desire in our heart? The deepest ache in our heart for, for love, for communion, the desire to see and to be seen, the desire to know and to be known. We might ask ourselves, do we really desire, though? Are we really ready to acknowledge the deep ache in our hearts to see God? Are ready to, de- to acknowledge, maybe I actually might not desire seeing God. Uh, that is, there, there might be a place in my heart that, that experiences some resistance to this reality. And as we ask ourselves, do, do I really desire to see God? Do, what is, do I desire to see him face to face? We might be tempted to uh, two, two easy responses. One is just simply to say, well, well of course I desire to see God. Father, uh, yeah, of, of course I want that. I, I know the Lord. I want to see the Lord. And almost just diminishing it or oversimplifying this reality. And the other temptation, which I think is more common, at least in my own heart and my own life, is, is simply to distract ourselves from that desire. <laughs> That is, what are the other things in my life that I can use to distract myself from this really deep ache in my heart that is not yet fully satisfied? That is, what are the things I can use just simply to get myself distracted so I don't even have to think about this deep ache, this deep longing for love and for communion? As we can put ourselves in front of a screen or we could use other sense pleasures, food and drink, Uh, anything to get us distracted or just be able to ignore this deep ache in our hearts. But as Christians, we're actually invited to live in this ache. There's a phrase used in theology that describes this reality that we find ourselves in, that is we find ourselves in this place of the already but not yet. The already but not yet. That is, we're invited as Christians because of our baptisms to already experience the glory of heaven. We're invited here and now to live in a place of intimate union with the Lord, walking in friendship with Jesus Christ, experiencing the goodness of his joy and his peace and his love. And at the same time, we're not yet fully there. That is, this reality of eternal union with God is not yet fully realized in us. And living in this tension can be painful at times. Uh, It it can mean confronting a deep ache in our hearts, a deep longing for more that, again, we might be tempted to either just say, "Well, well, well, of course that's there, or to distract ourselves or just try to ignore it, trying to almost numb out to this deep ache and this deep longing for more. What, What the Lord desires for us is that we would actually cry out to him from this ache. That is not that we just ignore it or distract ourselves from it, but to actually allow ourselves to express this desire to him. That is living in this way with one foot in heaven and and one foot here on earth, living in this tension of, "I, I want more, Lord. When I hear these visions, when I hear about your glory, I'm not quite sure what it all means, but there's part of me that really wants it. Part of me is a little terrified that it won't be fully realized, but part of me really desires this, Lord. And Lord, would you stir up this desire? Lord, would you actually increase this desire for you? I think this is what the Lord desires for us today here at St. John the Baptist, is that he would actually awaken these desires more fully in our hearts. Some of us might be objecting, but Father, I desire way too much. I desire all these other things way too much, and I love one of my favorite essays of C.S. Lewis is his weight of glory. 
If you've not yet read it, I highly recommend that you take some time to read his essay, The Weight of Glory. One of my favorite quotations, he talks about the fact that we actually don't desire too much, rather we desire too little. <laughs> like our desires are so weak that we settle for the things of this earth. And he gives the example of, of settling for a mud puddle in a back alley when we're made, we're created for a holiday at the sea. <laughs> If you've been to open water, if you've been to the, to the ocean or to any of the Great Lakes, you, you know the glory of open water, right? The, the beauty of that expansive space. And, and yet what C.S. Lewis is suggesting is that often we, we settle for a, a mud puddle, like a pothole in, in the asphalt in the ground that, that's filled with murky water when we are made for so much more. We are made for so much more. And we can ask the Lord today to actually stir up that desire in us. Lord, would you awaken this desire in us that we might not settle for these other things, we might not just run from this desire or this ache, but we might live in this tension of the already but not yet. That we might live in this tension of already experiencing and tasting your love, experiencing your goodness in our lives, but also, Lord, that we might press in for even more. Living as intentional disciples of Jesus means realizing that we are created for more and staying in a place where we don't numb out or ignore that desire for more. Rather, we want the Lord to stir it up, to awaken it within us, that we might press in for that more. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we can ask our Lord to awaken this desire in us. Lord, would you stir within us once again? Would you open our hearts to this deep ache to see you? Uh, that we might not settle for the things of this world. We might not settle for anything less than beholding you face to face.